good, everybody? <clears throat> this video is about does smoking weed like induce spiritual possession? Some deep shit, bro. And we're gonna get into it now. So basically, on the fourth of February of this year, I was smoking weed. I was in my studio smoking weed, turning up, making real bangers, feeling incredibly positive. And I kept smoking more weed. So I was already lit. I was already lit. But then I just picked up more and I smoked more. Like, <sighs> till I went past the point where I was in control. Now, when I was out of control, some horrible, horrible shit started to happen to me. Like, that's never happened to me in my life before. I've been smoking for like years, on and off. But I've been smoking. I smoke when I smoke. I can outsmoke niggas that smoke all the time when I start smoking type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I smoke raw. I, when I smoke, I only have weed. I don't mix it with no chip, nothing. Brr. So when I'm smoking, I'm smoking, baby. I'll have a fat zoot. Just weed in it, bro. Cali. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I took it, I took it a bit far this time. But I was in a zone. I was like... Listen to my music, feeling really positive, like, yeah, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. Brrr. Then I picked up more, shh. Then it just, after like five minutes, after smoking the extra bit that I knew I didn't need because I was really high already, something happened. And what happened was like, I felt like an outside force trying to invade my mind and force visions of negative scenarios on my mind and as much as i was repelling it like nah man stop that shit like oh that's a horrible thought get the fuck away type shit it was like oh more like i was trying to fucking force it on man and then it's just like at this point i feel like what the fuck so i was in there on my ones i was in there on my ones and i can feel like this presence like trying to push negative images on my mind it was just fully negative images of shit that i don't want you know like, all kinds of shit. I don't even want to say what it was. But it was negative, like, poverty, failure, type shit. Failing, poverty, shit I don't even want to know about. You know what I'm saying? And it was just really pushing images on my mind. But it was like, it was like I wasn't choosing it. It was actually deep. And I learned some real shit this day still. So listen, so this story is about, like, how I think weed might, like, make you susceptible to spiritual possession. Really. So cool. And why I think so. So cool. So I smoke too much now. Brum. I can feel that this don't feel positive. And on top of that, I can feel, like, negativity, external negativity, like, trying to invade my mind with negative images. It's just as real as that, of poverty, lack um failure or out of like not achieving shit that i want to achieve it was just in terribly horrible it was horrible like so i was in there on my ones and these images are coming to my mind and, and like before bear in mind before i was kind of turning up playing music feeling good about myself and then it's just it's just gone like on some real shit i'm thinking oh this this is feeling serious so i was like all right cool maybe it's enough of in here by myself let me go join my family so i went and go i went to go join my family now once i joined my family i can still feel it i'm like what the fuck i'm looking at my kids and shit i'm looking at i'm looking at my family and shit and like negativity is in my mind i'm like what the fuck is this bro like what the fuck i'm like go away type shit like go away type shit like real like this is this is too tense for me right now bro and, t and I remember reading a book called Untethered Soul by uh, Michael A. Singer, and it said something about you live with a maniac brrr, or some shit. Like, and to prove it's not you, just say, I'm going to shut up. So I remember that, but I'm like, wait, this, this thing is going on and on. So I was like, I'm going to shut up. So I was like, I am going to shut up. That's what I said in my mind. So now that I shut up, I can still hear the shit talking. It was like fucking venom in my head, bro. It was like I had venom in my head, you know, Eddie. It was like that type shit. I'm thinking, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I've gone too far 
on weed, like it's not even it's just weed as well. Like weed's not that deep, bro. I really can drag in the shit out of weed so I can handle weed. I just had an experience and it was very negative. And it was like this thing's just like really not leaving me, even though I said I'm gonna shut up just to prove it's not me. So I shut up and it's still there. I'm like, cool, whatever. And I tried to say some positive shit. Then, like, as I'm in it, I clocked, like, wait, what's happened? What's happened? What's happened different? And this is one of the realisations and that I've come to. And all to this day, I'm, I, I'm very aware of this, like, um, revelation. I'm like, what's made it gone so negative? Before that, I ate, like, bear crisps. I think it was, like, Pringles or some shit. I ate bear crisps because I got munchies and shit. I think I ate a snicker and some flipping... Pringles or some shit. But after that, I noticed my thoughts just started to change and after reflecting now. And I was like, even during it, like in it, like I was laying there like, it was like, just conti- persisting with negative images, even though I'm doing what I can to say, nah, man, I'm only good. Only good wants to come into my life. Only good wants to come into my life. Only good wants to come into my life. This is what's going to come into your life. This is going to come to your life. No, only good wants to come into your life. And it's like I'm battling something, but mentally. Like, I was like I was having a fight, but mentally. Like, real shit. It was actually, like, to the point where I, I'm... I, then I started, like, not knowing what to do. So I got up, like, even though I was with my family, and I came back in here by myself, and I put on more music. I'm like, I'm happy, and it's still there. I'm like, oh, shit. So I went back out there, and then I'm like, it's still there. I'm like, oh, shit. Then I came back in there, I'm like, I don't know what to do, bro. This shit's not going away type shit. Like, what the fuck, fam? What have I done? Like, what the, what the fuck have I done, bro? Do you get it? But I'm with it. I smoke when I smoke. Do you get it? Then I'm back out there, and it's just doing the same shit. I'm like, this is pissing me off now, man. Why don't it just go away type shit? <laughs> now, this is peak and I just like I felt like crying but I'm like no no this is peak bro this is something like trying to like invade my mind bro then I started getting a bit angry now I'm like what the fuck do you fucking want type shit but it's all in my head like what the fuck bro like what the fuck and then it was just like food and then it was just like oh these negative thoughts, I ate. I was like, what? I ate negative thoughts. It's like the food, once it's being digested, is turning into negative thoughts, literally. I was like, what the fuck? I could be high, in it? I was high, bro. But it was very interesting to me, like, when I was like, so I, so I can eat negative thoughts? Yes, you're eating negative thoughts. So Pringles is, Pringles, so now from what I've learned from that, from what I was going through in that experience, from that experience, it was like a, a can of Pringles is a can of negative thoughts, bro. Real shit. And a packet of Walker's crisps is a packet of negative thoughts. Real shit. And a pack of McVitie's biscuits is a pack of negative thoughts. Real shit. How much thoughts per biscuit? I don't know. I don't know, it could be like 10 thought, ten negative thoughts per biscuit. Do you get it? So, I'm in trouble now. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm just drinking bare water. Like, I need to be on high. I need to be on high. And I go bed. Usually, I go bed like... It varies, in it? But, like, I would try to go to bed for, like, 11. I was in bed, not because I was tired. Not because I was tired. I was in bed at, like, 6.30. In bed, with my eyes closed just battling this this fucking thing that seems pretty external to me because i'm i'm pretty like i'm pretty positive i'm pretty i'm i'm fairly disciplined i've got a strong mind so this thing was trying to invade my my mind but i fought it off and as I'm in it now, I'm remembering shit from certain books I've read, like certain shit about negative thinking and just before like something positive is going to happen, you'll be tested to see like if you remember everything that you've learned along the way type shit. So this is like an exam. So I remember that during it, like the negative experience, I'm like, oh, is this the exam? I'm being tested now to see if I've really learned about like thinking and shit. And I think so. But 
then it got worse from that point. It's like it was double testing me and bare negative thoughts was like really pushing on me. Like it was really like something was pressing against my mind. So I, then I closed my eyes. Early in the year, like early, it was February. So in January, like January the 1st, I smoked DMT. So I, I know what DMT is. So now that I close my eyes now, I can see these two purple flames. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, bro, this ain't no DMT, you know? This is fucking Cali runs. I ain't supposed to see no fucking two purple flames for shit. I see two purple fucking flames, bro. Like two fireballs. And it was actually moving with my eyes closed. So I opened my eyes, I'm like, no way I'm seeing two purple fireballs, bro. Like, what the fuck? Close my eyes again. I see them, I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck, it's happening to me right now. I got up again and started drinking bare water. I'm like, this is bad. And then I just went, I, I got back into bed, acting like I was asleep to my family because I was so, like, under an intense, stressed um, experience, stressful experience with um, battling. It was a spiritual battle. I was being spiritually attacked. So... What I learned from that day is if you take too much weed, you, you're you susceptible to a spiritual attack. And now let me get into why I think that happens. So why does smoking too much weed open you up to like a spiritual attack? Well, I'll say our barrier to protect our souls is our mind. And when you're not of, you're not of your mind, meaning like you're weakening your mind, I feel like it allows other things to start pressing in. Like, just it's picture, like, say there's plastic here, but it's usually, like, it's a concrete wall. But I feel like as you start taking intoxicants, it's like anything could be weed, cocaine. I ain't fucking on cocaine. I'm just putting it out there from now. I'm just saying anything that, you know, alters the mind. I think once you, like, weed, cocaine, alcohol, most certainly, most certainly alcohol. Say it's a concrete wall and then like there's a being on the opposite side. So say I'm the negative entity and then there's you on that side. Say this is a concrete wall. I feel like bang, bang. But when you're sober, it just can't really do shit. You're very strong minded. But as you start to take shots and your mind starts like getting weaker, I feel like the concrete starts to tell and turn into like a, a cling film where they can kind of start stretching and you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's like the, the concrete's now cling film and it's like you can feel shit from the outside, like on the inside type shit. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, I feel like drinking alcohol, like, like even somebody that drinks alcohol, have you noticed that people can like not be themselves where it's like scary demonic? I don't know if you man seen that shit, but like I've seen niggas be drunk where it's just like, it's not even that person no more, which is very alarming. So I really be feeling like intoxicants in general, but weed, alcohol, X, Y, Z, all the rest can open you up for like some spiritual attack. Whether it gets in or not, that's down to your level and the strength of your spirit. But I feel like each thing is breaking your spirit down. Not breaking your spirit. Yeah, breaking your spirit down to like make external things easy to get in your head. In your head. Did like you get it? And like, even down to, like, me smoking weed and making music, when I smoke weed, I hear voices singing and I just sing what they're singing. I'm sure a lot of musicians can say that, like, true musicians. Like, when they smoke, that's when they can hear shit. That's when you can hear shit. It's like, it opens it up and then it's just like, you can, can fucking... Oh, shit, I didn't even mean to do that, but it's like, they're just there. But if you still don't take too much where you still feel like you, it's just like, you're good. But if you go beyond that point, it's like, that's when they're tearing it. And that's when it's like, da, da, da. and it's just like, oh shit, shit, negative, negative, negative. I don't want to feel it type shit. Real shit. So, I don't know. What do you think? Like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, do you think that fucking intoxicants open you, like, can open your, your, your soul up for spiritual attacks? Like, really? And if you don't, I don't know, like, what do you think that was that, that man was going through type shit? And, yeah, that's it. But 
4th of February, in, to, in conclusion, the 4th of February, I learned that that's what it was like it was showing me too. I learned that sweets is negative thoughts. Everything that's not healthy food is you literally eating negative thoughts. And on top of it, the more you break down, the more you break down like your barrier. Remember, it was a concrete wall. The more you take it more intoxicant shot after shot or smoking after smoking, zoot after zoot, it weakens the wall. And then things from the outside entities can start just stretching through. It might not get through, but it can start kind of like push its hand through. And it's just like, like Stranger Things. You know, like how that, that thing was kind of stretching on the wall type shit. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Very interesting experience I had, but I learned a lot. And I'm very happy for the experience. And I faced my fear. I went back yesterday and I feel much more confident. I just know to stay within my means and not like overdo it. But the thing is, this is how weed gets you, bro. You start with a little bit. Oh, three buns knocking me. Then it's like, oh, one zoot's. It takes me one zoot to tap me out now. You get it? And then it's just like, oh, now man's bought bums. Two zoots now, calm. Then it's just like, I'm smoking a Q a day. You know what I'm saying? It's a weed. It weeds its way in, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, that's the end of that. Um, Let me know what you, man, think. Like, do you think, do you strongly think, like, intoxicants can open you up to spiritual attack? Well, I, I strongly believe that it's possible, the, the term, like, depending on your spirit. And I got a very, very strong spirit, like, very strong spirit. But that was not nice. But I learned a lot, you know. I learned a lot about intoxicants, um, mind, and, you know, blocking negative thoughts. That was very, um, it was very valuable experience. As negative as it was, it was positive because, like, I learned how to fight negative thoughts, intense negative thoughts. And to be honest, compared to that, like, once I'm sober, like, ordinary negative thoughts ain't shit to me after that. Like, nothing. Like, I just changed the channel real quick, bang, transmute it. Like, so quick um, after that because that was tense. That was it not leaving. It was just like... And I'm like, nah, man, that's long for me, man. Not right now. <laughs> it just wouldn't go. But that's how, it, that's how it went. So, yeah, man, that's the end of this video. If you want to know how to smoke weed properly, bang, video's right there. That's how you smoke weed properly. And I got some mad music dropping, like alien shit. I got some alien music, a new sound dropping, like, very soon. So check that as well. Um, stay tuned, you know, keep your eye peeled, you know. Um, love, I hope you got, like, value out of this or, you know, or at least got to reflect about, hmm, that is interesting that you said that because with me one time, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, blessings, love, you know, all that shit. Love, 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 love. Love for watching, you know, love.